Okay, good evening. And I am calling to order the uh, meeting of the Township Board of Trustees for Downshore Township for January 20th, 22. We started off with the Pledge of Allegiance. But um, 
it's not clear. Okay, we will take care of that for you. Uh, with that, uh, let's, I uh, ask for a motion to approve the minutes of the board meeting from December 16, 2021, as presented. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. Any order or a second? A second motion. And any comments? With that, Lorraine, what's the roll? Trustee Rickard Aye. Trustee Ferguson? Aye. Trustee Okra? Aye. Trustee Stoll? Aye. Supervisor Polter? Aye. Uh, the minutes pass. Uh, next up, we have a motion to approve the trustee audit and approval of the bills and claims as presented. Do I hear a motion? Yes, I'll make a motion. You have a second? Second. Any discussion? Lorraine, what do you call roll? Trustee Oakland? Aye. Trustee Stoll? Aye. Trustee Ferguson? Aye. Trustee Richard Aye. Aye. Supervisor Poulter? Aye. And that passes. Next up, I'm going to actually combine the two, the highway department uh, budget discussion, general fund budget discussion. Just a little uh, minor uh, stuff I want to bring up. Uh, just next month is when we vote on the budget. Um, it will be hung on Monday, correct, the 24th. So it will be hung on the 24th. The newspapers have been notified. And, have the for that. Uh, we will start with the highway budget public hearings Thursday the 24th. So normally our, our uh, meeting is the third Thursday of the month. And in February it's the fourth Thursday. So we will meet at six, we will start at 6.30 on Thursday the 24th. Uh, and then the general fund budget public hearings will be held on February 24th at 6.45 and our regular meeting so um, we will have a bigger discussion at that point in time. Um, any comments? Does the end usually attend that? They, yes, and the assessor will also be here as well. So they have to answer any questions about it. And he'll, he'll, give a, he'll both give a sort of review as well I on the budget. So that's uh, not an open meeting? That is an open meeting. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's not a public meeting. That's our meeting. It, it is a public it's meeting. It's done during this meeting. Yeah, it's done during this meeting. Yeah. It's well, it's done during public hearings, which is before. And then when we finish the, the, the um, general fund budget at 7 o'clock or thereabouts, we then roll into the general fund. Okay. So. All right, supervisor's report. Um, I have a couple of things to talk about. Um, one is, I want to talk a little bit about general assistance and also emergency assistance. Um, just to kind of give you a, a quick rundown of what the difference is. Uh, what is general assistance? Township government was formed for the purpose of assisting low-income, homeless, and un un unemployed residents. Today's general assistance program is funded through real estate taxes. The term came out of the Social Security Act of 1935, stating that a person does not fit categories administered by Social Security or Department of Human Services they fell into a general category, hence the general assistance. Downers Grove Township, using as a uh, directive section 6.10 of the Illinois Public Aid Code, has established an emergency assistance program. Emergency assistance is not a mandatory program. Emergency system is for township residents who meet the income guidelines and have a disconnection notice for gas, electric, or water, or a five-day notice behind um, uh, rent or uh, mortgage payments. Emergency assistance is administered to household once every once in a 12-month period, with a lifetime maximum of five times. After many years uh, with our guidelines uh, for emergency assistance, we have adopted it refresh our emergency assistance programs. Effective January 1st, 2022, the Downers Grove Township Program will increase its income guidelines and payment levels in order to serve more residents of the township. So currently, uh, we will be using the following uh, gross income um, for a family size of one person, uh, maximum income will be $1,932 a month. Two goes up to 2613. 
three goes up to $3,294. Four, $3,975. Five goes up to $4,656. A family size of six is $5,337. Family size of seven is $6,018. And a family size of eight is $6,699. Um, if households are larger than eight people, then it's an additional $396 for each person. And our maximum payment level is $400. So I'm going to give you an example. Someone comes here and says they're behind on their rent and they owe $1,200. We will pay $400 of that $1,200. It is up to them, by guidelines, to find the remaining balance, the $800. They can go through Catholic Charities. They can go through um, uh, other other charitable op operations like that. Um, we have a network of places. Once they have all of that money, and let's say they have 800 and we can give them 400, then we will write the check for $400. It is written directly to the landlord. It's not written to the person. Uh, same thing with county uh, utilities. Uh, right now we have a program through the county called LIHE, which is a county run program uh, which we are administering as well right now. So anytime a person has an issue, um, you know, we will help them out. Also, if there's any medication, food, work-related expenses, even transportation, we are finding you know, ways to help them through that. So um, we have increased that program. The LIHE program, which is called a low, is actually a low income health home energy assistance programs. Applications are taken September through May or depending on available funding through the county. So we have been working on that. Um, I know Sheila has been uh, putting through, I think it's over 150 applications so far that have been approved on that. So, um, and that will continue through May. Um, also, the general assistant office, just to go on another tangent here, uh, also maintains Oak Crest and Oak Hill cemeteries. Uh, we have successfully made huge improvements over the last seven months. Since last fall, a team of over 30 volunteers has worked at both cemeteries. Volunteers have marked all boundary lines were permanently with uh, permanently metal stakes. Volunteers have started uh, clearing the boundary lines of all overgrowth of weeds and chunk trees. And Boy Scout Troop 99 has worked several hours for fall cleanup day in October. Of 2021. Um, Township has also uh, hired professional tree service to remove seven old trees that were damaged and dead. We've hired a professional survey team to inspect and mark all corners of both cemeteries. Township has also purchased new Semify software for the maintaining and categorizing the burials. All reference information will be available online for residents and clients to review. This project has been needed for many years. So basically, it will, once this project is done, you'll be able to go on our website, and if you are looking for a burial plot, you'll be able to just look on the website um, and know exactly what's going on. Um, so uh, this uh, project has been needed for many years, and the scope of the project will take time to accomplish. So we're hoping by next summer or next fall, that we will have most of that. Um, there have been, I believe it's been 11 cemetery burials, um, and I'm sorry, 10 for the 2021 calendar year. So, uh, that's kind of an update on that. Um, next, I do not have an assessor's report, I do have the highway commissioner's report. Um, in the last month, the highway department has been working on the following projects. We have been out plowing and or salting several times over the last month. Our most difficult storm started out as a freezing mist and then dropped temperatures for several days. We removed ice with salt but had to keep a close eye on the problem spots where thawing occurred during the daylight hours and refreezing later it occurred later in the day. Crews have been out with the cold mix to patch potholes created from the freeze thaw cycles. Crews picked up Christmas trees placed in the right of ways by residents for recycling. Trees are chipped at our shop and offered to residents as free mulch. 
Crews trimmed several areas where brush created issues by blocking signs, and they handled several down trees from the highway as we had. Sign replacements happened in, in different subdivisions of the township to replace worn out signs and signs damaged during the high winds we endured over the last few weeks. During the coldest day of the month, crews pulled maintenance, uh, pulled maintenance on the vehicles and cleaned out the bays of the shop. And crews picked up garbage dumped on Jeans Avenue and came on 97th Street. And that is the end of uh, the Highway Commissioner's Report. And I believe that is all oh, I have. Does anyone have any old business? With that, I will take a, we do not have anything to go into uh, closed session, so I will take a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Yeah. All of them. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. We look forward to the next, our next meeting is Thursday, January 24th. The highway public hearings is at 6.30 p.m. The general fund budget is at Forty-five, and then the township board meeting is at seven o'clock. Thank you.